something you know making four or five those class. Thank you. 
was a, there uh, was a customer for a uh, special job in the order in the United Credit Union. And then the person in the United Union, they start to investigate. She transferred the custom money to the other credit union and then using the same receipt. But actually, when they found the transaction,
enough uh, opportunity for the for the employee to learn what the customer wants. The last one is uh, the credit union can improve the system the system for ATM credit. <laughs> as an accountant you can just click on the computer and you can steal the money but if you go in to rob 7-eleven what do you have to do how do you get the money from 7-eleven or any store you have to bring a gun or something yeah so you bring a gun isn't that more dangerous than using a computer yeah so uh, but if you use a gun to rob a store of three hundred dollars how long do you think you go to jail So more than five years or less than five years? Yeah, a lot more than five years. Yeah, so if you're gonna steal, steal with computer, because you don't go to jail for so long. Do you know how long she actually went to jail for? So she sentenced five years maximum, but how long was she actually in the jail? Because oh. most times what you'll find out is that people who get sentenced for what we call white collar crime, fraud and stealing money with computer, they don't serve the whole term. If you go for violent uh, crime with gun, you serve the whole term. And, uh, you know, that, that's always uh, a problem, yeah. So, um, she made a mistake and she returned the money. Does that make it okay? She's just lying. Oh, she so, lied about that yeah, too. When, they, when, oh. when the credit union find that, the transaction was handled by her. So now she's just lying back. So, how do we stop? Uh, from hiring people who make mistakes and uh, give back the money. Yeah. Any idea how we do that? Super strict. So stricter, six, six, how long? How? So you go, what did you say? Say it loud so I can hear you. <laughs> so you check references. Uh, what kind of references are you looking for in particular? And in and, and what kind of field? Since this is accounting, what kind of things uh, kind of make sense to ask about? In the accounting or banking or anything to do with money, right? Yeah, because if it was that they, you know, they, they went and they were digging, um, uh, harvesting uh, corn in the field and they stole some corn and took it home, uh, would that really matter to you that much? No, probably not. I mean, not as much as if they stole okay. It's an indicator, but would that be as uh, relevant as if they stole money? Okay, so we're looking for financial crimes. Um, what else did you say for reference checks? What else? Criminal history checks. Uh, and what does that tell you? The system is soft on white collar crime. The system is soft on people who use their brains for stealing. Is it any different? No. No. If you steal, you steal, right? You steal one dollar from 
a computer or you steal from somebody's computer, you steal one dollar from somebody on the from their pocket on the street. How much did you steal? You still stole a dollar, right? So shouldn't the penalty be the same? So we, we know that there are problems in the system. So you have to be very careful because if you hire somebody, what are they gonna do? <laughs> they can steal from you using your own computer. Uh, so that's you know important to think about. Some of the other things just for everybody, uh, you know, this slide looks really good on your computer, I'm sure. Probably looks really good right there, right? I can't see anything, right? The blue just fades out into the green. So one of the things that you always gotta make sure is that you understand that the pretty fonts and the pretty color schemes look really good on your high resolution monitor. They look like crap when you present them. And your presentation is what's getting greatest. If I gotta grade you on visuals, you're not getting a good grade for them, no matter how hard you try to make that look nice, right? And I, I'm sure you took a little while to find that backdrop, but with that light green, even though green is money, it's still hard to see. No, I don't need that one. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Show me a good one. All right. Now, okay, well, now this one too, I got to complain because if you go back to the other one, same thing with the, you know, the one you did that had the, the, the picture of the activities. That, so this one is too small, right? Hard to see. Yeah, the pictures are small and then the words are really small. You want to try to avoid that as much as you can. And of course, you know, the i got to tell you, practice, 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 right? Because you don't sound natural when you're presenting. You sound like you're reading off of a note card. Oh, you were reading off a note card. Darn. <laughs> okay, but you did okay. Thank you. What kind of counting class is the critique you want in your presentation or your speech? Okay. Who hired this guy? They didn't do reference check. Whoever hired me, they didn't do good background check. Yeah, I was stolen. <laughs> Make sure the whole same class goes so he gets punished and he got to teach them all two year, two semesters in one semester worth of time just so that they can make sure that they uh... yeah but the people like my and Scheidler this stuff is you don't forget all this stuff because see next year you're going to do managerial accounting uh you won't come back into financial accounting until the 300 uh, introductory intermediate accounting there's intermediate one intermediate two intermediate three intermediate one picks up where this class left off the only thing that you're really going to I think really need to review, and I hope you review, even though it's summer, is the debit credit rules. Because you're gonna start doing budgeting, and, and that one I think is more intuitive, because if you've ever worked in a business, you know you only have so much money to spend. So you gotta figure out how you're gonna spend it. It is. Yeah. And, and yeah. So some of it is intuitive, Right, some of it is just really then proportion. You know, how do you allocate the cost properly so that the right people are charged the right amount? So it doesn't look like somebody's making a lot of money when they're actually losing money. And as you know from these presentations, patients, people are likely to cheat. Shane, did you break the computer? Or, 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 or maybe you, you can, you can like, well, you have to write that on my thesis. Yeah. You could your email, you have to tell me if that's boy.edu. Otherwise, it's not that you have to tell me anything that you really learned in the course, you just have to have proper format on the email. And, and the line has to come out underneath it's like a hyperlink to it immediately. Or I have to retype it and just on this one. Oh, it's necessary. Okay. No, no, I understand. When I say necessary, you don't have to give me that much information. But it's yes. But it, it is, that's for you. Because it was a separate But it's not, you know, usually you say you come more than half an hour late, you can take a few minutes late, but it's three minutes. Unless you had the pain. Reason. Uh -oh. 
it was not uh, so she could be easy to control the money uh, account. Also, the employee lawyer uh, had trusted her too much. And then, uh, oh, and then uh, how she And then, 
Can see it. So yeah, it's just, just a presentation of our switch. So this is easier to see it as compared to the last group that was prettier, more colorful, but definitely hard to see. Um, and what you want is to give the information, uh, not necessarily make it look pretty. Fraud is not pretty, so uh, it's okay if it's kind of like plain like this. Uh, good thing you guys did good when you switched places. So that's good because you know, like the camera when you, you know, and the screen because the screen forms the center of the attention. Right? So if you stayed in the same positions and Shane you stayed out there where Yuki is and you guys didn't switch, then it, it would have not been as effective. Right? But now when you come closer, uh, then that was good. You know, sometimes what happens is you just get like, oh, I don't want to move. I just want to get this over with, and I don't want to. Uh, and, and that's not good for a presentation. And if you want to focus the attention on, on the important things, even if it means that we got to come more towards the center. So that was good that we did that. Uh, some other coaches kind of like, hey, okay, I'm going to plant myself here. I'm not moving. I don't care. Um, the, uh, the idea, though, is not to be too close or too far from the screen. So sometimes you see what's right inside. I like that. So it's a little bit distracting. So you want to make sure that when you are uh, presenting, um, you don't see something like that happening, you know, uh, and because again, that's quite distracting and takes away from the value of your presentation. Uh, and then for everybody, 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 practice, 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 practice speaking out loud too. Uh, it helps for your timing because when you read these things, as you know, right, you all took speech classes or uh, got told about presentations that when you when you read it, you're going a lot faster than when you speak it. So if you have a time limit, if you don't practice it out loud, even your own parts, which I know many of you did, right? You do the first three slides, you do the next three slides, and you do the last three slides. That. So if you don't practice out loud, you don't know how long you're taking. And then you gotta work out some kind of communications between each other so you know when to flip the slide. Uh, that, that helps a lot too. So, uh, other than that, so, uh, ethics classes. Yeah, you took any ethics classes, though? How come? If you say people in business who take ethics class, you're going to take ethics class. You said it would help you. Yeah. yeah. But then again, maybe, can you teach ethics? Huh? You can. You, you can teach people how to memorize the rules, yeah, but can you teach them how to be ethical? Oh, I like that. Feel guilty. How do you make people feel guilty? <laughs> oh, 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 conditioning. <laughs> I see. Kind of like experimentation, psychology and conditioning. Yeah. But you know what happens? Eh? It's like drugs. Eh? The more they tell you no do drugs, the more you go out and have sex. Eh? I mean, the more you, <laughs> the more you like do drugs. Uh, so, you know, you, you, they tell you no can do one thing, you want to do something else. That's just bad, right? So. Um, it's like anything, the just say no programs uh, have been shown to yeah. be the worst yeah. possible way of trying to get kids not to do drugs. Tell them not to do it, and the first thing they want to do is what? Yeah. Yeah, like try. And then the other thing, of course, is you know, like not necessarily, you know, guilty. I'm not, I, I don't mean to pick on you, but I'm picking on you. Okay, guilty and guilt tripping is not necessarily the best thing yeah. because think about it like, okay, now with drugs, right? Uh, let's use drugs as an example, or alcoholism, or smoking. You tell a young kid that people who uh, abuse drugs, people who uh, drink too much alcohol, people who smoke, uh, they're bad people. Who do you think 
the primary person in their life that they see doing that first is their parents. So you've just told them in your guilt tripping them that their parents are bad people, that they live with bad people. And this, you need not, you should not associate with bad people. You just mess that kid up. You know, no matter how many ethics classes you put them in, that, that's a messed up kid. I don't know, maybe not. This is accounting. We're not supposed to think about those things. We're only supposed to think about debits on the left, credits on the right. What is the natural balance of an account, right? What goes up, what goes down. And yeah, make sure that you review that. Maybe before the test, who knows? Like, you know, review questions. Like, <sighs> because we think this is important. Um, again, um, so do you think, okay, like, you think the punishment fit the crime? No. no. Should have been more or less? More. Why do you think it's like that? Why do we let uh, white collar professionals, people who steal uh, without uh, using weapons, why do you why do you think we let them off easier? Yeah. yeah. So this woman stole tens of thousands of dollars. She stole from kids, right? She stole from a soccer team. Where they go play soccer and now they move ball, they gotta go keep the air and they go fall down. Isn't that bad? I mean, she would put this woman in jail for a long, long time. She affected all those kids so negatively. Do you think it's right that people who go to jail because they steal, they're stealing money, using embezzlement or using uh, identity theft, do you think it's right that they go to jail for less time than others who go to jail because they use the weapon? Go to jail better? happened in Japan, um, what would be the penalty? Same? that they're smart people or intelligent people so he gives them more chance uh, if the person was really stupid I mean really stupid like me kind of stupid jail long time as opposed to smart you know, like you then jail less time no how about rich if you're rich do you go jail longer or shorter So they don't even have to go to jail sometimes. Poor people, do they have to go to jail? Poor people yeah. like me, I gotta go to jail? Uh, yeah, not fair, but people like poor are going more likely to go to jail? Yeah, so, mm -hmm. in, in, in China, what about? Uh, what do you know, China? Uh, 